Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a challenge guide for Concordia, and this is essentially the sanctuary of uh, the Borderlands pre-sequel. You know, you've got Mox's Bar, the Black Market, and uh, so on. Now this was a real pain in the ass, particularly the Clairvoyant challenge. That is super annoying, but we'll get onto that later, of course. We're going to start off with the Fair Cop. Uh, something about being Fair Cop, I think. Uh, but for this we need to get in trouble by custom TP and uh, this guy can be found just you know roaming around the area um, So you know just go look for him if you can't find him he'll be in one of these spots So just wait. I mean it does it does wait quite a while in each spot um, So you do have time to com commit your crime if you talk to him He will list out what you can and can't do or at least what will get you a ticket and so this is the easiest way to get a ticket uh, apparently this patch of grass is a super rare plant, so, you know, do that and uh, you'll get a ticket. But you have to do it in front of him, of course, as uh, the challenge says. So from there, I think we're going to go get the uh, the first vault symbol, which all of the vault symbols are on the rooftops. So head to the roofs, uh, rooftops, you know, there's quite a few ways to get there, but of course the easiest way to get there is just to use the jump pad in the centre of the uh, map. So when you use the jump pad, you'll be launched up to this platform. Head right and head right again. Head right to the you know the sign board, you know the billboard, and the vault symbol will just be behind the uh, the sign, right there. Now I do apologise for all this you know flash back and from different characters because, like I said, I did have to actually create another character to do this clairvoyant challenge because you have to complete the clairvoyant challenge before you before you get like the second quest you get in uh, in sanctuary the one way you have to disable this force field so to complete this challenge uh, and you know press E on this console and then turn around and activate this f switch and that will disable the force field and get you the clairvoyant challenge but like said um, there is a quest like, literally, as soon as you enter Sanctuary, you know, during the main storyline, you get the quest and you have to disable these false fields as part of the, uh, you know, the main story. Uh, so if you have done that, then you're screwed. It's literally impossible to complete this challenge, as of course it says you have to do it before you get the, that objective to disable the EMP, or the false field, I should say. Anyway, that is that. That's a real nuisance. That might be why you're watching this video. Vault symbol, you know, as you just saw, it's on top of the mayor's office. Not too hard to find. But yeah, clairvoyant, that is just the main bitch. It really is. Yeah, I had to create a new character. I'm, pretty, I'm sure I said that before. Um, but yeah, if you've, already, if you've already done that quest, then you're just going to have to write that challenge off, basically. Uh, unless you want to create a new character just for that challenge. Uh, anyway, so the final vault symbol is going to be on top of this roof, you know, above the main entrance where you first entered uh, Concordia. And that is the vault symbols. So, there it is, overlooking the, uh, the super rare plant. So now we're going to go ahead and party, or at least dance with a robot. I've forgotten his name, in uh, Mox's Bar. Up and over, is it? Something like that. I'm just going to call it Mox's Bar. Um, so head to Mox's Bar, because that is where you'll find this robot. And he will just be buzzing him around, doing, you know, certain scripted stuff. And then one of his uh, events will be to dance on the dance floor. And all you have to do is just dance with him. I'm not entirely sure if, you know, jumping up and down and, you know, moving your mouse like that. <laughs> makes a difference. You can probably just stand there and you'll probably get the challenge. But yeah, you just have to stand there with him. And uh, you'll get the challenge after a while. And uh, then he'll move on to do whatever else he does during the day. And then finally you've got the jackpot, which is to get like three vault symbols or three... I've forgotten the other one. Uh, but yeah, it's essentially a look. Pretty self-explanatory. And um, I mean, I have a lot more luck with the left jackpot machine, so... Not sure if that really helps, but <laughs> there we go. That's all the challenges for Concordia. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helps, and thank you for watching.